All right, guys, I'm here with some updates today. First of all, Scarce put out a video last night. He did shout me out, but the point is he's trying to get an interview with Alexia. And I think if anyone can land the interview, it would be Scarce or Keem or one of the very large news channels or largest news channels, shall I say, on YouTube. Also, some good news. He says on Twitter that he doesn't want to do a Kobe Bryant 3 a.m. challenge, or I'm sorry, that he won't be doing a Kobe Bryant 3 a.m. challenge, which I believe is the best decision. And you shouldn't kick a family while they're down and after they've lost one of the most important people to them. It's just wrong. It's terribly wrong to the family, the victims, and of course, all of his fans. So you did make a very good decision here, Jay. The problem is, I believe that Jay wants to make a video about it because he was clearly very handsomely rewarded when he talked about Mac Miller and XXX Tentacion coming back at 3 a.m. Uh, on the phone, I believe. I didn't want to give him any views, so I didn't watch them. However, I know that he did exploit them for money and views, which I believe was wrong. Um, the, the point is, I don't think he has the energy or motivation right now if his girlfriend did leave him, because I do believe him when he says that she gave him his current happiness, and that because of all the trauma and abuse he went through at home as a child, he didn't have much happiness. So, and I mean, the money's great and the YouTube is great for him, but that comes and goes. And what he has to live with is what he went through as a child. It doesn't give him any right to abuse Ika or Alexia, and I'm afraid he possibly did do that. I'm not 100% sure or certain. It will come out in trial, um, and I will keep you up to date on the court proceedings if it does go to court, and Alexia doesn't drop the charges and say, hey, my dad needs a kidney. I don't know exactly what her plan is or what Jay's plan is, but the point is he needs to be honest with us. He needs to not exploit rappers, celebrity, basketball players' deaths for views. It's not funny, it's not okay, it's not morally right, and it's only a matter of time before YouTube cracks down on that because it makes them look bad as a platform. So you did make the right decision there as to whether you do make more videos on celebrity deaths in the future for views and money when you do have the energy and motivation and you have a new girl in your life or whatever the happiness may be. I definitely urge you not to do so. It will pay off in the long run to be a good person. Now, also, in further updates, I had all of my viewers on my previous video comment on her latest video on the Alexa Morano channel, requesting that she does come out with her side of the story. Whether she knows it or not, everybody's going to listen and everybody's going to want to see her side of the story. We want to know about the abuse that she suffered, quote-unquote abuse, I should say, the alleged abuse that she's claiming to have suffered. We want to know if the police knocking on his door were real or if they weren't real. As of now, we have evidence from Newsweek that there are no outstanding warrants for J Station's arrest. Also, he says in his latest video that lasts 25 minutes long that he went to the army after leaving high school only at grade 9. The problem is with zero, I'm sorry, with little research being done, you can see for yourself that the Canadian Army requires that you have gone to high school at least until grade 10. Also, you need to be 18 years old to be accepted into college. Guys, at this point, we need to hear directly from Alexia Morano. We don't know what to believe. We don't know how many lies were in his latest video, and his latest video seems like the most genuine video out there. Also, Jay Station claims he's hiding in his home and can't leave right now. But that doesn't make any sense, because if there really are outstanding warrants, police have every right to take you in. Sure, they can call you and request that you come in for questioning, but that's not what they did. They banged on his door, supposedly, the real Canadian police, supposedly, and put up his hand, like, call me, turn yourself in, like... It just doesn't quite seem like it's fitting the narrative. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.